All right, welcome back. I'm Tammy, and remember yesterday I taught you about the frustration cycle, and I promised that I would teach you a fast way to get out of it. Now, let me just explain something. I, um, I'm, a, I'm a mentor. I'm really good at knowing frustration cycles and learning how to get out of them, and I found myself uh, something really disappointing happened. I was going for a big goal, and I didn't make it in this month. It, it, this was a while back. I'm telling you this story to illustrate something. I didn't make the goal. And I thought, it's okay, no big deal. I'll try next month. And I was really frustrated. I almost had it. I was this close. And somebody canceled on me right at the end. And I'm like, it, it just was like, it rattled me. And I thought, but I teach this stuff. And I know I'm not going to get on fr frustration cycle. I'm not going to go there. So I like held all this stuff in and I, I didn't let any of it out and I just, I just would shrug my shoulders and go this is no big deal this is no big deal nothing you know I can do it next month and I found myself my energy level dropping really low as I tried to be happy mom happy wife happy and my energy level was dropping low and then I found myself getting sick like I literally, I hadn't been sick for three years. Didn't didn't know what sick felt like anymore. I literally had gotten sick about this and was just laying in bed all day one day with a stomach ache, a fever. I actually had a fever. I, I was so sick and frustrated about this and trying to stay on top of the world and not let this stuff get to me because I know how to not let it get to me, right? Well, it got to me. And uh, I felt embarrassed that I hadn't made it and uh, I got sick and fever and in bed and got to the point where I was down here and I was crying. I was crying about it. I just wanted to be left alone. I was trying to deal with my emotions and all the stuff going through my head about being a failure. I did get my black book out <laughs> and write down, you are a failure. Um, so I had my black book. I was still trying to do my steps that I knew how to do. But I did, I felt down here. And then I thought, this is so stupid. I'm in this dumb cycle and I wanna be done with it. I wanna be done with this cycle. What do I gotta do? So I prayed to my higher power. What can I do to get out of this cycle? I'm done, I don't wanna be here anymore. I don't wanna be crying and sad and miserable. And the thought came to me, get up and dance. And I says, oh, get up and dance, forget that. I'm not gonna get up and dance. What can I do? You know, I prayed to my higher power. What can I do to feel better? I'm tired of feeling this way. Get up and dance. I'm like ah, that's not the answer I want. I don't want to get up and dance. Who wants to get up and dance when you're crying, when you're upset, when you're miserable? So I thought, okay, I'm going to do what my thoughts are telling me to do. So I turned on my music and I got up and I started to dance to this music. And I'm just dancing and I happened to catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror in my bedroom. And I had tears running down my eyes and I had this music on and I saw myself and I thought, oh my word, you look ridiculous. And it and it made me smile because it was such a silly th sight to see me, you know, doing a slow dance at the beginning and with the tears and stuff. And I thought, oh, okay, I'm feeling better. It's working. You know, the next time came on and I'm just like, now I'm jazzing out instead of just rocking back and forth like this. The first I started out with kind of a slow song. I mean, don't shock my system too bad. And then I got a fast jazzy song and I'm dancing. Uh, tears are done flowing. I'm feeling better about life. I, I'm everything is better, and I'm like, holy mackerel! Dancing helps you get back on top. Who'd have thought? So dancing is one thing to get. If you turn on some rock and music and start dancing, it's really, really hard to stay in a really bad mood. Still, another thing is service. My daughter had gotten in a frustration cycle. She was at work. No one came and picked her up, and she had called several people when she got home and found out. People just didn't have their phones with them. My my daughter was watching TV, the one that was supposed to go down and get her and didn't have her phone. And she's like, nobody cares about her. She had done a double shift. She didn't have food. She was hungry, didn't have water, had to walk all the way home from work after doing a double shift. And she was frustrated. And when I found this out, I says, what, what got you back out of your frustration cycle? How did you get out of your frustration cycle? And she says, well, I went and helped Camille and Steve move. And I says, and that, that got you feeling better? Yeah, I feel great now. So she did service, a service. So to get out of this situation right here and to want to start climbing back and being back on top of the world, dance. That'll get you out of it. Do service. 
And if I had a whole room full of people here, everybody's hands would be popping up of what they did to help them get out of a frustration cycle. Get up and you go exercise. Go on a walk. Exercise. These are all things that I have learned that help you get out of, of, of frustration. Go hug somebody. Release some, hug someone or do a release technique. And I'm going to teach you lots of release techniques. Um, but anyway, we're going to start out with this. So your challenge today is to, well, yesterday you recognized the frustration cycle. You started recognizing them. If you or someone you know gets in one, encourage, turn on some music and encourage them to dance. Even if you're not in a frustration cycle, today your challenge is to dance. Yep. We're going to raise that energy level up. We're going to get it from little here to high vibration. So go turn on some music and your challenge today is to dance. Okay, look forward to talking to you tomorrow.